Hello guys and welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Pascal. And this is your number one show for everything nice and everything trending. My name is Kim Opera. We're going to go on a short break right now. When we return, the show continues. Stick around. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel. And you know that we always bring the best of the best on the show. Every and today, time. Mm -hmm. we have hmm, we have an elite actress in our midst. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He's done so much in the yeah. entertainment industry and of course in the movie industry to be particular about. Mm -hmm. All right, drum rolls. She goes by the name Aduni Ade. Aduni Ade in the building. How are you doing? I am great. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You look like you're great. You look like the economy has nothing on you. At all. At all. At all. You're aesthetically beautiful. Well, thank you. It's okay. Leave me alone. Let's just get into it, right? Let's talk about your journey in the movie industry. Just briefly, right? How did you know that, you know, being an actress was your calling? I don't know if it's my calling. I just love mm -hmm. entertainment. Okay. Um, I started off as a model many years ago. And it sort of just transitioned into me um, starting off with the comedy skits. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wasn't even back here then. I was still living in the States and I would just post on YouTube and, um, I got a call from Mr. Said Balogun, a filmmaker, and I flew down wow. and featured in one of his projects. And that was kind of what it was. I would always fly down to film. And then at some point, I just decided to move to Nigeria and just take this up. I just don't limit to acting, you know. Yes. It, at some point, the modeling was coming, more of the influence and gigs, and then, um, I transitioned into a filmmaker as well, and yeah, mm -hmm. we're still working. <laughs> How many years ago were we talking about when you had the first call from uh, Said Balogun? Uh, okay, so it was back in 2011. I started off 2011, and I think I moved down here 2012. Wow. Yeah, okay. that long. Time. Yeah. And how has it been, like being in this industry? you know, for that long and seeing how it has evolved. With every industry, mm -hmm. every workspace, there's ups and there's downs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just grateful to be alive and still um, be able to partake in what I love doing mm -hmm. and just keep gracing everyone's screen mm -hmm. and hoping that I do a great job in yeah. portraying the character that that I find myself in. Mm -hmm. You say that the Nollywood mm -hmm. you met mm -hmm. is what we still have right now. No, oh, like she said, it has evolved. Um, every single day we keep breaking boundaries and just keep growing the industry and uh, just keep making the name for the industry as mm -hmm. a whole. Mm -hmm. um, with Netflix and all these other streaming platforms and um, Amazon and uh, even YouTube. Nollywood is, 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 is getting there, it's yeah. growing yeah. and it's getting the right recognition, but it can only get better. It can only exactly. get better. It so what would you better. say uh, was one of the major challenges that you faced so far in the entertainment industry? Yeah, I already answered this at another, you know, program of y'all's. Um, I think a lot of times Maybe I'm being seen as fragile mm. and sometimes it might limit roles yeah. that I'm being given. Mm -hmm. um, just like I said earlier, I, I don't want that for myself. I need you to understand that as fragile as I look, mm -hmm. I can switch up. Yeah. If you need me in that ghetto scene mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, that get real crunk, crazy, just, proper, just mm -hmm. be right there with people. I can do that. My switch game is, is top notch. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also blessed to speak other languages. Yeah. Um, I can switch. So okay. anywhere I find myself, I can maneuver. So it's more like, you know, as the days go by, the years go by, you grow, you evolve. Mm -hmm. So I just need filmmakers and directors to know that don't just stereotype me into a certain mm -hmm. character. Call me, I'm available. Yeah. If you need me to be actor. rugged, Mm -hmm. Rugged Nessie, oh, I'm bad. Yeah. Let's not just, you know, think it's all cream and proper. Yes. I can get dirty if need be. 
Um, so I don't want to speak negatively mm -hmm. about Love anything. Yeah. Any workforce, you find the good, you find the bad. True. But how you it. tend to manage um, is the most important thing. That's pretty beautiful. But so you're also known as also a Yoruba and Hollywood actor or actress. And of course, uh, you've done Yoruba movies as well mm -hmm. as um, the, of course, the English speaking mm -hmm. Nollywood. Acting. I have also featured in films that comes from the East. East as well, so the yeah. proper, yeah. Uh, exactly, as yeah. you said I'm earlier. Yeah. All, yeah. all around. Actually, you said You're you blessed many with different languages. languages. So well, I wouldn't say many? many, just two. Okay. okay. Let's say two, uh, maybe two and a quarter. And a quarter? <laughs> and a quarter. Okay, um, so but yeah, Yoruba, obviously, okay. English, a little bit of Igbo. Just a tiny bit of Igbo. Igbo. Okay. Yes, okay. that's okay. a bad agree. You can get to where it is. Mm, just a tiny bit. And give us some. <laughs> no, mm -mm, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, with, with any language, the first thing you learn, unfortunately, is curse words. So, yeah, yeah. we're not going to do that on screen. But yeah, okay, I, do, okay. I, I do know how to communicate. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Okay. Yes. How do you mix it? Like, how do you draw the line? How do you mix your work and your personal life and still have that control? Because we see you on your socials, how you post about your kids. We're literally part of In your my life. heart. We see, you understand, you know? <laughs> so we see that. So right. we, I want to know, like, how do you balance work and your personal life? You just do it as a parent. There's no thinking. It's mm -hmm. just something you have to do. You have to be able to provide and cater to your children as a parent regardless of whatever industry you find yourself. It be a doctor, you being an actor, architect, whatever. Um, some jobs require that you are away from the house quite exactly. a lot. Mm -hmm. Speak about a doctor. Sure. Being on call at all hours of the day and night. Mm -hmm. um, but you just have to find that balance. Okay. I cannot, it's not something I can put into words mm -hmm. until you, you find yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. You will find a way to create that balance okay. um, my kids will always come first mm -hmm. um, so I'm very careful on how I schedule um, projects mm -hmm. I do not miss anything that has to do with their schooling if it's open day if it's visiting day if I need to be in school for um, a program into house board I will be there so my kids will always have that attention from mm -hmm. me to always be present yeah and when it comes to work work will attend to itself i just know how to balance perfect so you figured it out right yeah. there's some people that might probably still not you know know how to balance it so just like you know a word of advice or you know one or two, one or two words that you can give for people that are still trying to make it work for someone like me when it was that time i took my kids to boarding school okay. um that's something you could consider or have really good family members or trusted persons to be there the short period of time you're away mm -hmm. for work, but never neglect your kids, always be present in their lives mm -hmm. and the rest will follow. I like that. Thank I love you. it. So I do you support, that. because I recently saw um, uh, a conversation that Bisola had online uh, about not having her, her daughter have a phone. Oh, I, do yeah, you I think I said that. that. Do, you um, do, do your kids have phones? If it works for her. My kids do have phones. Okay. Um, the mm -hmm. younger one is on my um, family shared uh, okay. plan. So mm -hmm. he is restricted to certain apps. Um, mm -hmm. And I have to give permission for him to maybe download another app on his phone. Wow. So if I feel it's too much for his age, I would decline. But okay. if I said something that can be useful, mm -hmm. then yes, I will accept. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so mm -hmm. still, okay, phone, that's but good. a lot of, there's still restrictions yes. Yes. and all of that. Yes, that's good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your recent projects, yes? Uh, you earlier mentioned you had the... Uh, La Katabu. La Katabu. Yes. <laughs> I'm so bad with my Yoruba pronunciation. It's okay. I used to do better. How is it working on and being on that project? Oh, working with Adela Day. I already did in a different project, um, the vendor. Mm -hmm. And everyone loved it. And then he called me for this one. Uh, and we were going to slate during um, the Ramadan. And I had to do that while fasting and goodness gracious, <laughs> it was tedious. It was tasking, but yeah, it, the set was so beautiful that literally, even if you're drained from, you know, fasting and the sun and the heat where we were filming, the love that we got from 
the crew, the, crew, the director, yeah. who was Odunlade himself. Mm -hmm. You know, just the surrounding. It was just pure positive vibes and just love. Mm -hmm. It just made everything feel so much better. better. Mm -hmm. Not just even Lakatabu. Um, also, we filmed Laya and some Kuti. Yes. We also filmed in Abelkuta as well for that one. <laughs> the Sun as well. Um, but working with BAP, who also produced God. I'm mm -hmm. not in House of God, but... You know, she is a phenomenal woman, mm -hmm. amazing director, and um, I'm just always blessed to work with amazing um, filmmakers, yeah. be it the producer, the director, who they're so in tune and inclined to their work, and they just they just make every everything seem so seamless, um, and just relate too well with the cast. Mm -hmm. and also to with their crew um, okay. and um yeah it was just a beautiful time working on those two projects okay mm. okay so we've often at times we see when actors or actresses have been in some sort of productions that have been quite tasking or mentally demanding or mentally demanding there's some sort of like bonding that happens you know with the actors or actresses on set. who would you say has been that person that you've worked with on a project that you guys just like clicked and like were like so cordial afterwards. One would have been uh, from Liar and some Kuti. The elite girls, the elite women rather. We were not girls, we were women. Mm -hmm. um, the elite women, that would be myself, um, Kende Bankoli, Bikia Douglas, Amomi Dada. We bonded so much mm -hmm. because we learned so much about this iconic woman. And uh, we all know that what we were told in school was very limited True. to the contributions that she made to this great country mm -hmm. as the woman first woman to drive a car but to know that she did so much more for her race for humanity um fighting for dead by um, women mm -hmm. and even just for humans in general yeah and to learn you know so much that happened during that era it's just beautiful Mm -hmm. to be part of and yes we did bond all the girls we did bond and just had a great time filming that's good to know because mm -hmm. i always wonder because you always see it like online you see you see those the sparks and the love, yeah. so you yeah. want to know like okay many of it is real many of it is lovely. real yes um during this. one of the recent awards i did sit right next to same award the last two times mm -hmm. i have sat right next to um, two actresses that won. So last this year, mm -hmm. I sat with Kane de Bancoli, mm -hmm. oh. and you know it was just it just melted my heart when oh. she was called up on stage. Yeah. And um, for last year was Omo Dada and goodness gracious, she damn near broke my my hands. Like <laughs> we just grabbed each other. Like oh. oh my god, they better call your name. They better call your name. And when they did, you know it was just a beautiful moment to see and just to witness um i'm someone who is genuinely always happy for others you know there's sometimes you come across talents and when they get um appreciated yes and you just know you deserve this yeah you know it just melts my heart and you know i'm just like yes Yay. yes yes you deserve <laughs> it oh that, that's really nice to thank see. you it's, it's good to know that you're at you know good person that's yeah. that's pretty lovely let's talk about your recent or the the most the the topic of the day which is uh tokumba yay <laughs> <laughs> yes yes which is um a movie you walked in with ramsey noah yes right how was that working with ramsey noah? Uh, the i legend, know i know he is so tired of me saying this but he was the one who gave me almost that confirmation to move to Nigeria. Wow. So I met him before I came to Nigeria and I just told him what what my goals and aspirations mm -hmm. were and he gave me a very good pep talk and I moved down. Now imagine from 2011 never getting to work with him and this is wow. someone you've always admired mm -hmm. and then uh, during a film festival I see him and I just exchange pleasantries as usual. Mm -hmm. And the next day I get a call from the producer who is Chris, his very good friend. Yes. And he says, Adjani, what did you give uh, Ramsey to eat? <laughs> Ramsey just casted you. I was like, 
no way is it snowing outside in Aww. this lagos you oh know my. and then i was just so happy to be on set with him working with him mm -hmm. he is a total different person when he is working so now after that i have been featured with him in another project i cannot disclose what it is so i have seen him as ramzanoa mm -hmm. the human being yes. ramzanoa the director and ramzanoa the co-actor and he is just a phenomenal human being. Mm -hmm. Now working on Tokumbo, it's an action flick and you can just imagine yeah. what we had to go through. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. is a very well detailed director. I mean, he's very precise. Mm -hmm. We can shoot one scene for days wow. and then at the end of the day you feel, oh yeah, we're done and we'll come back and he'll say, mm we have to do this again like he is that detailed and uh working on tokumbo man it's a long time coming we didn't just film this like yesterday or a mm -hmm. day ago uh two days ago we filmed this a few years ago and wow. for it to be coming out Did now you? yes oh i am just i'm super excited for the world to see what we created mm -hmm. myself um gideon gideon is yes mm -hmm. it is his time oh, no, no, no. it is his time Gideon, yes, Gideon is a phenomenal actor, he and he stayed in character all through. As beat down as he got, limping, hey, he didn't care. When they said action, he was in it. Now you know Chirimokeme, he delivers. Of course, of course. Yes, oh. of course. And then we have Darcy, a little young actress, amazing actress, and myself. Um, I played the character Iyamulika, but they called me Iyamulix on yeah. set um mm -hmm. it's an action flick and uh title tokumbo when when you see it you would understand what tokumbo is yes. and what they refer to you know what they refer yeah, to as tokumbo yeah. yes Fantastic. yes so that's what yeah, it's pretty much surrounded oh. by oh. but y'all yeah, will love it but check it out you will mm -hmm. love it you would love it How, when they said they casted you that's like one you know one being excited right yes. but then finding out the cost yes how was it when you now found out about the cast? Gideon, he's a, he's a colleague of mine. Mm -hmm. We're cool. Amazing guy. Great yeah. energy. Great spirit. Chidimokeme, he is just, he's another great human being. I have never seen him out of character. Like, he's just like the kindest soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, just imagine him at his age, you know, performing the stunts. I mean, I wish I could give you some taste, but I cannot. When you mm -hmm. see I it, can't wait. and you're gonna be like, he did all this. I mean, sometimes we would film all night into the morning, and he would just be beat down, and he's like, and we all would just stand there looking like zombies, ready to do the same thing mm -hmm. at night. Um, everyone delivered. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that everyone gave it a thousand percent. And I just pray and hope that as much work as we did mm -hmm. is what you're going to get. I think when you so. I, I, I really believe so. Mm -hmm. I really believe so. Because first things first, um, the director and the, the cast mm -hmm. is already perfect. Right. It, it's not far-fetched. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not far-fetched. Mm -hmm. So it's, exactly. it can only be... It can only be great. It can only be good. Right. <laughs> it can only be. That's Amen. I mean. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us. We're we going to go on a quick break right now when we return. Adunia Day will still be with us in the studio, so stick around. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending, and we still have Adunia Day, Pascal, and myself on the this show. <laughs> and we're about to play some more games. Oh, yeah, I used to clap for me now. See me, I got the pronunciation right now. <laughs> it's not easy. Crazy. I'm uh, practicing. No. <laughs> Right, so we're going to be playing the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, do you understand it? Yeah. So it's going to be going like this. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. We'll start from Adjani, All right. myself, and Pascal. Oh, okay, and like this. Go around. Anti clockwise. Let's go. No worries. Thank you, Jesus. One, <laughs> two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. It is so nice to entry now. I thought we're gonna stop. <laughs> Five, 
Sorry. All right, let's 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 let's. No, two of you now. Okay. I don't know. The Ready? pressure is too much. Okay. Let's go from you to me. Okay. Switch. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. <laughs> she confused me. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, do no, 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 so okay. I get a trophy? Take the here. From me to you, congratulations on all your wins. Yes, but you keep winning. In life. Yes, Amen. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, it's that moment of the day. Mm -hmm. It's time for a picture or picture video, video of, the of the day. Check it out. I said this. I can never cut on first. Oh my God. You Goodness, like, crazy. Ooh. You look like you walked out of you look at this, this, look at this was <laughs> in oh my. Miami. And guess what? I was oh. pregnant with my son here. What? Yeah. Six months. Yes. Six months pregnant. <laughs> yes. Like you see, but this life is not equal. Yeah. This life is not fair. <laughs> that's where you got the picture from. Yeah. Because I made a collage. Yeah. That's where she life. got it from. Wow. <laughs> Both wow. of you guys are truly not yeah. equal. Wow. Yeah. Six months? Yeah. Six months pregnant. Yeah. Well, my first son, yes. And okay. you were living it up in Miami? Yeah, it was uh, spring break. So I went out there with my friends. Yeah. Oh. And you walk, Ariaska. Ariaska. Oh, uh, Masko, Masko. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at me. Oh I God. thought I was the she's naive in here. Oh you were. Oh my God. Oh, that's such a cute. Ooh, for wow. six months. Oh my God. Oh. oh. <laughs> that's that face. This is me in primary school. The face came back. Like, this is it. <laughs> oh. oh. So if yeah. only she knew. Mm -hmm, that what? Mm -hmm. ah. Well done. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. Bonjour, Terry. <laughs> so Bless lovely. your heart, Aduni. Mm. How does it feel like, you know? You know Seeing this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Oh. You see me smiling. Yeah. Yeah. So God is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so shocked that you're yeah. pregnant. Yeah. I oh, oh, there's some. Months. I made a collage of those pictures, so there are more. Um, till the very end of my first pregnancy, I wore the same clothes till the very end. Now the second one, no. <laughs> what happened? No. Had you come back to Nigeria? Girl, no, 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 no. Okay. No, everything was still in the okay, state. Yeah. Great. Um, but ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first, first one, one was. Yeah. Mm, so is that your favorite? It's like it's, favorite. Is it no. your favorite? No. Oh my goodness. My kids, mm. both of them, they, yeah, they have my heart. They both have my traits. Yeah. Good and bad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're just the best kids that True. God can give so polite. anyone. Oh Thank my. you. Yeah. They're like, oh, good afternoon, Ma. I was like, I'm not a Ma. Well, Thank what you. are they Thank supposed you. to say? That's beautiful. That's what so they're polite. supposed to say. So polite. That's so polite. how I was trained. That's mm. lovely. Thank I, I you. Just, that's that's We're nice. very proud of you for everything you've done. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Know, Woman Wood is also proud of, proud of you as well. That's the mm. truth. Yes, yeah, speaking for Woman Hood. Imagine. Woman Hood is also proud of you as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. Feminist. Well, I think my idea of femi feminism is quite different from what normal feminists actually see. There's only one definition. Everybody that says my idea. When someone but says my idea. No, but my idea of feminism is, of feminism is actually different. Reality is based on individual Left. observation. No. So yeah, my idea is actually different. Okay. But of course, I I love women to take charge and everything, but my idea of feminism is quite different. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show. And anyway, we wish you nothing but the thank best you, as you Kim. go forward. We hope that you will come back here and tell us of your greater heights that you've achieved. Definitely. And, you know, the many awards that you get. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. I see that star. They tell you mm. there's an award. Coming for you. Coming. Amen. Big, 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 big Amen. Thing. Amen. All right, guys. We've come to the end of this episode. We hope you had an amazing time watching. Mm -hmm. yes, we we did. will see you some other time. Don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms on Instagram is official Hip TV on X and YouTube is at Hip TV. Remember as well the channel three two four and DSTV and twenty two and Go TV as well. And of course, training airs at a nine a.m. hour. So if you missed that one, you can actually check it out again at the eight p.m. hour. My name is Pascal. My name is Kim Opera. My name is Adoni Ade. 
Don't mm -hmm. forget to keep it moving. Bye, guys.